in this lesson you can learn how to design this beautiful infographic in four point keys that i'm using during the design you can see at the below bar follow these keys and watch the video till the end go to format background i'm going to give it some different color and uh, go to insert take uh, this shape and drag it by holding shift alt and uh, make it uh, according to your requirement drag according to your requirement and uh, align center align middle oh sorry okay i'm going uh, to take uh, this all shape by holding shift alt and drag it place it here at this corner Control D to duplicate it. Place it on the second one corner. That uh, it's straight to the first one all shape. Again, Control D to duplicate it. Place it here. Control D to duplicate it. Place it here. and uh, control D to duplicate it, place it here. Okay, and select all, go to fragment, union. Control D to duplicate it and place it here uh, and and the side for later use and uh, i'm going to make it a little bit smaller align center and align middle go to insert take a rectangle and draw a thin rectangle like a line and uh, place it uh, at the align center and align middle control d to duplicate it place align center align middle and uh, by holding alt and uh, press a right arrow key four times control d to duplicate it press alt, uh, holding alt and uh, press right arrow key four times select all and uh, go to merge shape fragment by holding shift and select these areas and five and six delete the extra parts okay i'm going to give a shape outline make it no outline and giving uh, through the eyedropper uh, these colors one by one you can bring the color palette according to your requirement to the slide and uh, through the eyedropper you can pick these colors one by one okay this last one shape fill and go it uh, by yes this one select this one and uh, make it uh, smaller by holding shift alt and give it a white color shape outline make it no outline align center align middle Oh, sorry. I'm going to bring it first to the bring it to the front and align the middle. I'm going to make it a little bit big in size. 
align center align middle let me look at this chip that how it look like yes i think i should make it a little bit more bigger in size align center align middle okay i'm going to give it some shadow effect and this will be okay transparency will be around about 70 and uh, size will be 104 i think blur is okay go to insert and uh, I'm going to take another this one shape and drag it make it at the center and at the middle of the slide yes I'm going to make it a little bit bigger in size okay shape fill no fill shape outline give it some dark gray color and uh, shape outline go and dashes go to again icon tab and uh, i need some icons to bring the slide you can type uh, the icon text in the search icon bar and uh, you will find your desired icons in this here in this place and uh, i'm going to a meeting yes this one this one also and this one again search some other icon i need paper yes this one okay business icon i think so some need business icon to search people no yes this one and bring it to the slide by holding shift alt and uh, make it i think so i should make it a little bit uh, smaller in size i think so. i need this icon for now okay drag it by holding shift alt and place it here and give it some dark gray color i am going to bring these icons to make it i think i am going to make it these icons little bit in smaller size okay two is also need more smaller okay select these and this one by holding shift and go to i think 1.5 will be okay 1.5 yes now i'm going to place these icons one by one at uh, the all shape or the all shape car at the corner yes this will go here and this icon will go here i'm gonna put this icon here and uh, this icon i'm gonna put here to change its color according to the shapes i'm going to graphic fill and give the same color as the shape
click one by one and go to graphic fill and give the same color as the shape color i gonna bring some text that i have typed earlier to save the time you can fix your text in the shape by giving some space or by you must have many types of fonts there are many types of free fonts and the google just go it and search and uh, install these fonts you will find some best fonts on google i'm going to give it some shadow effect to the text text option and uh, go to the shadow effects i also going to give it some shadow effect this okay blur is going to be little bit one or two yes it's okay and by putting this text one by one to these related to these icons okay control d to duplicate it and place it here control d to duplicate it and place it here likewise control d to duplicate it and place it here okay i am going to place it here this is the last one icon okay and uh, to change the heading fonts color according to the size select this heading and uh, go to colors and uh, change its color okay i need some arrows from uh, the one shape to the goes from one shape to this next one shape and uh, i put this arrow between these two shapes it looks like a flow you can use this design for your uh, workflow flow chart and uh, also process flow for your business process flow i'm going to change the color according to the shape shape outline make it no outline control d to duplicate it and place one by one by holding alt and press right arrow key four times and i'm going to make it little bit fix it need to also to fix yes control d to duplicate it by holding alt and press right arrow key four times okay oh sorry by holding shift and uh, rotate it control d to duplicate it by holding shift and rotate i'm going to make some colors to give it some different colors according to the shapes
thank you for watching please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed please subscribe it and get every time new design thank you